Hello my sock universe. It's been a while that I made a video from this perspective and to be honest the lighting is a little bit off. I don't quite like it but you know I don't have anything coming from here so yeah or coming from the front. So forgive me for that but I thought it's best to do this type of video from this perspective. Uh, I've been thinking about making a video like this for quite a while. Uh, I got serious about it about three weeks ago then I did all the jersey reviews and so on. I said okay now is the perfect moment to talk about how to actually take care and wash your jerseys because uh, I like to wear my jerseys. I'm not one that just puts them in a corner and then forgets about them. Um, it's also the reason why I don't have that special, uh, you know, player worn or whatever that you need to keep. I mostly want my jerseys that I wear them, that I have them, that I use them as a background here in my videos, that I can wear them to work or whatever. I, I actually do almost every day. I wear some sort of jersey, uh, whether it's in summer mostly uh, sock, sock jerseys. Winter I put some hockey on and there's some American football or whatever thrown in. Um, fortunately, we don't have any dress code, so no one minds. And since I'm working in the sports business, no one, people mind even less. I'm giving my new West Ham jersey uh, its first outing. So that also rounds everything up. So let's... Um, what I want to do in this video is to tell you how I treat my jersey. As I said, I've, I'm wearing my jerseys a lot. And for the most of the time, I'm washing them rather haphazardly. I learned very, very early on uh, that you have to wash the jerseys cold. And with cold, I mean 30 degrees maybe even less. Uh, honestly, they are so easily washable that you don't have to worry about uh, not getting stains out. And for stains, if you have some, I have a video on that already. How did I learn it? Well, uh, my mother once mistakenly washed my first soccer jersey, this Italy shirt here. And suddenly what looked really crisp, this color wrinkled up considerably, uh, which I already don't like, and most notably the crest not only lo lost a little bit of its color, but you see how it is wrinkled up. I actually think now that if I would take an iron and with, with a little bit of skill, and I don't have much skill with the iron yet, but I will get there, that I actually could flatten this crest back out again. I just, when my mother gave this to me, I showed my disappointment. I've gotten, did, I did not get mad or whatever, whatever. I thought this, she offered, I think, even to iron it out and I decided, nah, don't touch it, mom. <sighs> This is mine. Uh, still my favorite jersey, despite the flaw, to be honest. Uh, other things that happen when you wash them. You know, I just threw them in the washer and then stuff like this happens. Um, this Austria jersey, you can see already the Puma cat here is coming off. This needs to be glued on again. Uh, by some this is a uh, one, th uh, one stuff then i had this in 77 put on top i mean yes this material is kind of this meshy type material on front so this doesn't help things and this was a very cheap print i have to say and you see him on the back i mean actually it's much better than i thought but you know it slowly 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 washes out you see the red coming through and the most common thing and in many ways the one that hurts me most is I have this and I've worn this a lot. And you know, the more you wear them, you more than wash them, you more wear, you will get on them. So that's another reason why I have so many. Um, is look at this Milan jersey from, was it 09, 10? But with the Maldini customization here. So this was actually worn on the last, in this specification on the last match day of the 08, 09, in uh, Maldini's last home game and look at how the sponsor is already wrinkled. This, with some ironing you could get out, but what really, really hurts me on that one is, um, do you see the cracks in the Maldini name? This is due to washing and not properly washing it. I'm meanwhile not wearing this jersey anymore until I found a fix for that and I'm looking around what can be found. What also happens is, but this doesn't bother me, is that this inside label washes out. So. Showing you the bad signs, what can you do? First of all, wash at 30 degrees Celsius, cold laundry or even less. You can literally use any detergent, put it in the washer. You can even hand wash it if you have the, um, the patience to do so. Because honestly, they wash 
out quickly. Just put it in uh, with some laundry, then soak it and hang it up. Yes, it will take a lot longer to dry, uh, and if unless you uh, uh, if you don't do it in the washer where you have you have the spins. But other than that, uh, it will do the trick. I've been doing this when we are at the beach where we don't have a washer. Uh, overnight it dries. The, the, that's the one thing I love. It's really, really uh, quickly drying material. And this is what I love about Georgia, especially in summer. You can go out, it, it rains, and within uh, half an hour you dry again, even if you wear it on yourself. So that's the first thing. The second thing is how do you avoid those unsightly cracks and so on. I mean, the first thing that you have to do, and here take another Milan jersey, uh, you know, that's my long sleeved one where there's a lot of patches and so on there. First thing you want to do is put it inside out. Everything that's inside will much, will be much less um, affected by it. So do it inside out. Uh, that was also true if you have numbers on the back, where do I have the one that I want to wash? Here it is, yes. I'm gonna give my Benfica jersey its first wash. It has a number on the back. So let's turn this inside out. If you do that, you get, you preserve the jersey already quite well. However, there's one last step that I really, really recommend if you have lots of prints on there. Get laundry bags. Get these laundry bags. You can find them in any drugstore or whatever. Uh, they do the trick. They protect your uh, laundry, um, especially if it's delicate. You know, this is made for uh, women's underwear mostly, but I use it for church jerseys as well. I mean, it's almost the same turn on factor for me. So, yeah. So what you want to do is you want to take this and they come in a few different types I uh, have here with, I like them with the zipper. You can get them also in black. It doesn't really matter because uh, the, the one thing is if you have a true jersey, it, the color does not come off. This is another uh, pause positive. So you don't even need to, I rarely ever um, split them up into the darker ones or sort or sort of sort of color because the color does not come off, especially if you wash cold. If you wash hot, then it anyway shrinks and whatever, and 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 it gets some unsightly stuff. So that I've learned does not really matter. So what I want to show you, we have them with zipper. I have one. They have also the strings on top, but um, after a few washes, and I mean years, this the, also the strings don't, and then you have to tie them together and then you get them out. So you basically, what you do is you take the jersey, put in the net. I put usually two to three in the net. So let's take a third one here. Cagliari gets its first washing too. So I have three jerseys in there. And now just by random look, they are of the same color in this bag. You close the bag and you put this bag in the washer. So forgot to tell you one more important thing. If you have this, you put this in the washer again, 30 degrees or less, and then gentle cycling. You don't need to wash this for two hours. It's enough if you do this for an hour, 45, five minutes, gentle cycle, and you're fine. Now, once you've washed it, first thing, do not put it in the dryer. Dryer will ruin it. The dryer is heat, this is polyester, polyester melts, deforms, whatever. Do not put your jerseys in a dryer. Put them on a drying rack or do what I do. Take a hanger and hang them somewhere. I have uh, windows on the roof, so under the roof, so that's easy, but hang them anywhere and they dry in no time. And this way you can keep your jerseys in a good shape for much, much longer, especially if you have a print. Now, if you have a print and you have some cracking, there is some other videos that I want to do. I want to try also how to, you know, I have a video. I'm thinking about doing this, but I don't know yet quite how, you know, this Ronaldo jersey with the broken number, how I could repair this a little bit. It's mostly down to time. I don't find enough time to do it to do it uh, 
or if I have, I do something else. But at the moment, it's quite busy, you know. Job and family plus this channel. I'm busying myself a little bit too much, but I'll get there eventually. Uh, but you know, the last one I made at the very beginning of this year, now we have one at the end of the year, so you can expect two, about two maintenance videos a year. I think there's really not much more in it. Anyway, these are my laundry tips, how to take care of your jerseys, especially if you like me and want to wear them on a regular basis. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. As I said, they are not too many, but I have many other videos, uh, also church jersey related. Um, give me a thumbs up and talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!